Hi guys! Today we're making this miniature dress form. After we just made a wardrobe, I figured I'd show you an easier way than my previous one. If you haven't seen my other one, it was made with clay and it's still on my channel. First off, we're gonna make a pattern. As you can see here, I made three pieces. One with the silhouette of the front, the side, and then the middle one here that is just the side with the neck part cut away. If you want, you can just sketch around a doll. The main component of this project is cardstock, which makes it really easy to cut out. Then take a good pair of scissors and a pencil, then sketch your front pattern onto the cardstock and cut it out. And that's our front silhouette. Since the cardstock is a bit bendy, I decided to cut another piece just like it and then glue the two together with a glue stick, just to make it a little more steady. Then you're gonna cut out two layers of cardstock for the side silhouette, the one with the neck attached. Then you're gonna cut it down the long side, so we can actually get one half on the front of the front silhouette and one on the back. Then you're gonna stick the two layers together with a glue stick. Then you're gonna get out a thin wooden dowel. This is the only wood we're gonna use in this tutorial and it's just for the stand. Place it against the back piece of the two we just made, then cut around it to make a space. This is where we're gonna glue it in later. Then I use some tacky glue to glue the two new pieces onto our silhouette. For the last piece of the pattern, we're gonna cut four layers of cardstock, stick them together two and two, and then cut them down the middle like before, so these are the pieces you end up with. Then you're gonna glue it to the front silhouette like we did before, but now you can start to sense the shape of the dress form. Next you're gonna cut four rounded triangular pieces and glue to the top to be the top of the neck. Once the dress form has dried, you're gonna take some regular white canvas fabric and cut it into strips. Then you're gonna add glue to the dress form and stick a strip of fabric in between each section, cutting away excess as you go. When the whole dress form is covered, you're gonna take some tissue or toilet paper and rip it up and use it for stuffing inside the dress form to round it off a bit. You can keep the dress form as is or you can add a final layer of fabric. I use this floral one. Start with a piece big enough to cover the back of the dress form, spread glue on the dress form and then start stretching the fabric onto it and cover it completely. Then cut away the excess. Uh. 
Once the back is done, do the same to the front. Next we're gonna glue on a circle to close off the bottom. Be sure you've made a little hole for the stand, the same place that we made it in the dress form. To finish the neck, cut out the right shape of cardstock and glue it on. To add some more details to the top, I used a hole punch to punch out a bunch of little circles of the cardstock and then stuck them together with glue. Then I used a file to smooth out the sides and then glued it to the top of the dress form. Now to make the stand. You're gonna need the wooden dowel from before and you're also gonna need to make a stencil for the feet you wanted to have. I wanted three feet in this style, so I cut out three pieces of cardstock for each, so that's nine, stuck them together and then, then glued them to the stick. Then I'm gonna use acrylic paint to paint the top and the stand for more uniform color. When it's all dry, seal it with a matte glaze to protect it. Now we can glue the dress form to the stand. And that's our basic dress form. Now you can add some decorations if you want. I decided to add some of this pretty pink lace at the bottom to be like an underskirt. As a final touch, I used some seed beads and some fire line to make some very simple necklaces and added those to the top. And there you go, that's our dress form done. If you want to see how to make some clothes for your dress form, I have some videos on my channel. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this project. Leave me a like if you did and subscribe if you want to see more. Bye!